everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, we are going to be doing another capsule wardrobe video. And I say another because if you missed it, I surprised my mom and we got her this big capsule wardrobe that she had been talking about. We had to go to the mall, get each piece that this big list said. I will list the link down below because it is the same exact list that we are going to be using in this video. But yeah, I feel like you guys should go watch that video if you haven't already, or at least watch it at the end of this video because this video is fully inspired by that. I feel like I'm referencing too much. Like I'm like in that, this, that, and that. But at the end of that video, I said if you guys would like to see this video again, but this time from thrifted pieces, so it's far more affordable, let me know and we would for sure do that. And that is what we're doing today. So I have the whole day marked off my calendar because I don't know if we're gonna need to go to one thrift store, two thrift stores, three, four, five. I have no idea, but we need to find all of these pieces on this list. And I'm going to find all the pieces that we need for this capsule wardrobe and then I'm going to wear it for two weeks and see how it goes. So the whole theory behind these capsule wardrobes is everybody has too many pieces in their closet or they don't have enough statement staple pieces. So these little sheets, little guidelines are supposed to help us to know what we need in our closet so that we're not ever lack there to know what to wear or lack of things to wear. Does that make sense? If it doesn't make sense, I will just put the definition of capsule wardrobe right here. This will explain it better. There we go. Reading time. But yeah, I'm very excited because this time around I'm going to be trying the capsule wardrobe and after watching my mom use hers, I have been inspired. I think it's a great concept. The thing with thrifted items is it's a little bit difficult sometimes to get perfect sizing and with COVID right now all the change rooms are all closed so I'm just going to be guessing so hopefully everything fits because originally with the capsule wardrobe when we went shopping for my mom you had to make Make sure that you loved the pieces that they fit perfectly but for this one I'm just gonna be kind of guessing so hopefully so yeah without further ado let's get shopping I haven't been to a thrift store in like six months five months something like that I'm very excited to go gonna be masked up as always wear your masks and let's get shopping and finding all these pieces Liz roll. I've been washing these <laughs> wait wait you're supposed to wash your mask <laughs> smell this Fresh. Honestly, smell mine. <laughs> Mia, let me give you a new mask. This one is fresh and clean. Take it. Here, take this one. I washed it too. That one's clean. I'll wear it, but it needs yeah, to Yeah, just change your carbon, change your carbon filter. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so you guys, we are at the first second hand store right now. We got our masks ready. So I was just looking through the list of things and oh my goodness, there are so many pieces. I literally forgot how many pieces we got. Yeah, it's a lot. <laughs> We're just looking at that man. <laughs> I know. So many pieces, I literally... I just thought he was coming over to us to ask us something. I wanted to be ready. <laughs> just like, look at my mom's <laughs> eyes in the intro. <laughs> I'm like, she was Mia, staring Mia, down someone. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so I was looking back and like I really realized how many pieces there is because there's two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And that's without the added. There's about like 10 added for summer and 10 added for winter. So I'm going to do none of the added. I'm just going to get the basics and see how that works. So if you're doing this, you can of course add for winter or add for summer. But I decided I'm just going to do the basics kind of because I'm having anxiety because I'm having to go in and get so many things. <laughs> but I think it will still be good. So we're gonna head in, do some vlogging. I hope it's not busy. I'm having like stress. I'm having <laughs> serious, honest stress right now. I know, Mia. We'll be there for each other. <sighs> but Mia, look at That is such a nice capsule. Do you see what I'm wearing? Yeah, you're wearing your capsule stuff. Yes, and I didn't know we were doing this like right today or like that you were using that list. My shoes, my jeans, my shirt. I know, you're an advocate of the capsule I, wardrobe. It, it simplified my life so much. I love it. Okay, <laughs> let's go in. You guys, I'm just trying to convince my mom that this could be a white blouse. <laughs> and yeah. she's not buying if, it. If you aren't using the right laundry soap, this could be what your white ends up like. Exactly. So this is stretch, but... <laughs> white tunic. Oh my gosh. 
cute. I love it. Hey, you guys, which one? Long sleeve cardigan, boat now. Mom, which one do you think is good? I feel like I should maybe go neutral. This one's a lot thinner. But this one is longer if you're gonna have to wear it over something. It's cute. I specifically don't like chambray shirts, so which one, Mom? I'm leaning towards this darker one because I like the fringe on the bottom. Enough said. You guys, there's been a jean overload. I haven't bought this many jeans in a long time. And I don't even wear jeans. Not to mention low cut. There's so much stuff, you guys. I feel like everybody hasn't been thrifting forever. So there's an overhaul. What size are they? <laughs> don't look at me like Mia, they're my size. I'm good with a seven, but I'm not good with a seven and a half. Oh, 7.5. Dang it. What do you think? That is a big clog and shoe for you. you taking clogging class, Mia? <laughs> I wanted these ones way back then. I should get them and start walking really, really good. Get a good workout in these. Last thing, you guys, and then we've got a full cart. Look at all the pieces. I wonder how much it'll, it'll cost. How much? What'd you find? Something good. <laughs> oh yeah. That's what you need. What do you say? <laughs> I can't believe you're getting these. I like them. Do you really? Yeah, sure. Okay. I'm sure. <laughs> Get over these. <laughs> you guys, we're done. Ooh. Very nice. <laughs> like, I don't want to be dramatic, but one of my most successful thrifting experiences ever. Like, there was so much stuff. I think because of, like, COVID and everything, lots of people hadn't been there. Or the stock had been building up, building up, building up. And they only opened, like, a couple months ago. So there was just tons of stuff to choose from. Like, I feel really good about a lot of the pieces. So we're going to go home and wash them all. And quarantine the shoes. We thrifted so hard in there. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, it's actually a few days later now. These have been quarantining for a little, but not long enough. So I'm going to cut all the tags off and I'm going to wash everything and wipe down the shoes and then I'll be able to wear everything. So roll up my sleeves, let's do this. Everything was $311. So if this really is like a full wardrobe, to get a full wardrobe for just over $300, pretty good, I would say. Cause like $300 is a lot, but a whole wardrobe's a lot too. Get cutting tags. I decided to put it all in. It's a really full load, but whatever. Okay, all these clothes are gonna be washed and then I'll show you them. Okay, you guys, it is a few days later. Everything is washed, everything is wiped down, and now I'm going to take this time to show you guys everything. I have the list right here on my phone. I'm not gonna lie, I was organizing it before I turned the camera on, and I was kind of like, wait, what? Because, like, I know I ad-libbed a little bit of the pieces, like, ooh, it needed a black t-shirt. I may have got a black long sleeve. So I did do a little bit of, like, choosing just because I know it's about to get really, really cold, so I knew if I was gonna be actually wearing these pieces, I did want to make sure that they were weather appropriate so I did make a few slight little changes but I feel like it shouldn't make that big of a difference like a t-shirt versus a long sleeve I'm more of a long sleeve gal if you're more of a short sleeve gal then just switch it up as you see fit but I was looking through and I think I've got some really nice pieces. I'm excited to wear these and honestly, as long as they fit good, this will not be a problem. But okay, so I'm just gonna take this time to go through everything. I'll also be trying it on overlay so you guys can see it on and then we'll get into wearing it for two weeks. So let's go in the pants first. The first option was I needed two dark wash denims, one skinny and one boot cut. Or sorry, one skinny or boyfriend. That's like the first specification. And then one trouser or boot cut. I did skinny skinny and boot cut, so one from each group. I made that far more complicated than it had to be. So for my skinny jeans, I found these babies. You know, at thrift stores, you can be picky, but not too picky. So I was really just like limited to my sizes. And thankfully there was a bunch of stuff. I think from everybody's spring cleaning during quarantine, the thrift stores were bursting, which was great. So I picked up these jeans. They're just a dark wash, really basic, almost like jegging. And they are actually originally from Old Navy and they fall under super 
super skinny. You guys can see them in the overview right now. Do they fit me? I don't know. Future Mia will know and you will know before I right now know. And then the other denim I got was a boot cut. These are originally from, I have no idea. Oh, garage. These are garage denim. I love garage. Okay. And they flare out at the bottom. And the reason why I chose boot cut is because I actually really like boot cut style. Like I wish it would come back in full force because I really enjoy it. So I'm going to try and do my part on bringing it back. Wear some boot cuts. Okay. And then the next specification is color jeans. So you need two different colors or patterns. So I chose one pattern and one color. I was so impressed that I found these. These are fabric flowy pants. I swear in my everyday life, these would be a staple. So I was so excited to find them at the thrift store, literally for like eight bucks. It's ridiculous. So here are these pants. So yeah, I consider these a color. They're like an army green. They are a size zero and I like to wear a one. So they might be a little tight. But you know what? I'm going to make it work. And then the other pair is actually a pattern. Now I have no idea how these ones are going to fit. They're more like a dress pant, but that's kind of a style right now to take dress pants and almost like dress them down. Like to pair this with a blouse would be very dressy, but to pair it with a little crop top, that's not as dressy, you know? So I got these babies, these babies, baby, baby. They're also kind of like boot cut. So <laughs> I'm bringing boot cut in. Okay. So then we needed a white or black denim. So of course I got black denim. You guys, these are originally from Gap. They are baby boot. So they're like baby boot cut. So they're again, a little bit boot cut. I'm going to be wearing boot cut jeans for the next two weeks and I'm not mad about it. But of course, if I had the choice between white jeans and black jeans, I'm going to choose black jeans 100% of the time. And that's kind of where this wardrobe capsule, you can make it fit you better. Because if you're the type of person who likes to wear white jeans, then in this case, you would get white over black. For me personally, white jeans and me don't mix. No, they don't. Okay. So that is all for the pants. Quite a few pairs of pants. Like seriously, I wear the same pair of pants. Like literally I've been wearing these pants for probably a week and a half. So to have that many pants to choose from will be more than enough. Okay. Now into tops. So there is seven tops that don't fall under sweaters, but I will say because it is like fall winter time right now, I did get, like I said, if it's a shirt, it might be more like a sweater or if it's a t-shirt, it might be more like a long sleeve. Make it whatever works for for you, but try to follow the guidelines. I definitely tried, but I will say there was a few pieces that I was like, I'll just make it work. First top, a black t-shirt. Like I said, I did end up getting a black long sleeve. This is just going to work a lot better for me. And it's got like a little mock neck, which I love. If I would have been going to the thrift store at this point, I definitely would have picked this shirt up no matter what. So I'm happy that I had an excuse to get it. And then a flowy white top. My mom was like, Mia, come on. That is not a flowy white top. But like, I feel like it's white. It seems flowy to me. I don't see why this one didn't work just because it's not like a blouse material. This is flowy. This is white. I feel like it's good enough. It's a knit. Yes, but it's still flowy and white. And then we have a colored pattern tee. Again, I did a long sleeve. I'm not going to repeat myself a whole bunch, but yeah, I did do long sleeves. This is me repeating myself again, but like it's cold. And I know if I don't have a long sleeve, this is going to be a painful journey for me. So I just went ahead and did long sleeves, but there was so many t-shirts. You guys, it would have been easier to find a t-shirt than a long sleeve. So this is my patterned long sleeve, which is under colored pattern T. There it is. And then we have a tunic or blouse. So I got this one. You know, I have no shirts like this. I have like zero blouses. So it'll be exciting to see if I actually get some wear out of this. It is so, so soft. That's one thing I love about buying secondhand is the clothes are so soft. Like this is, it's broken in. I just love it. So yeah, I actually think I will get a lot of wear out of this and it did push me out of my comfort zone to buy something like this. So we should see. We shall. We shall see. We won't should. We will. Colored gingham or pattern shirt. So I believe this is a big enough pattern. It's eye catching. It's lovely. It's a nice soft sweater, but it is a shirt. I'm not going to validate every piece. Okay. I believe it's good. Okay. This time it's a neutral gingham or pattern shirt. So those two feel very similar to me. So I just tried to pick colors that were a little more neutral, like navy, white, and red. I feel like are pretty neutral. Red a little bit less, but I feel like this is decently neutral. So I got this one. This one was originally from Tommy Hilfiger. I quite like this one. I want to crop it. I don't know if I will for this video, but I definitely want it in the future. And then a chambray shirt. I had to Google chambray shirt because I wasn't sure. Does it have to be light denim or could it be dark? And I think this falls under the specifications. I think this is kind of like the shirt that you throw over another shirt. I don't know. We'll see how I wear it, but I got one. Okay. So that's all for tops. Now we have the sweater category. There's 
there's three in here. We have a lightweight long sleeve cardigan. So I got this navy one and this one is actually like from Club Monaco. Mm, sounds very luxury. I've never got anything from there and it's got little elbow pads. It's a navy color. I think it'll be nice to have this to just throw over my pieces. And then a solid neutral crew neck. This is a little bit more of a turtleneck, but I think it rolls down quite a bit. But I love this sweater, you guys. 100% I'm gonna be wearing this so much. Like this was such a great find and it was like $5. Like to get this whole wardrobe for $300, big expense all at once. But for how many pieces you're getting, it's ridiculous. Okay, and then a striped pattern sweater, which you could argue I have quite a few of, but those are just my shirts and tops. This is my striped sweater. I love this color. It totally reminds me of Halloween. Maybe I'll wear it on Halloween. I don't know. Maybe I'll dress up as a scarecrow because like that's what this reminds me of. But it really got my attention and yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, the dresses and skirts. We have a little black dress. Now this, I will admit, looked more black to me when I was <laughs> shopping originally. I think because I was just like, like I could just see red basically. Like I was trying to find things. But it is a little charcoal, but it's a dark charcoal. So we'll call it my little black dress. I think I'll have to wear like a shirt underneath it. I was thinking with my little turtleneck, this would be very cute, but I really like this. It almost like reminds me of like what I would wear like a little train hat with. I think it could be cute, but I don't have a train hat. So it'll just be an idea, an idea for now. Okay, prepare to get shocked by the party dress I picked up because oh my goodness, I had to get this. It has no tags on it. Look at this. It's like such a bodycon dress. It's so tight. It's like a full giant elastic dress. And I just felt like, you know what? I ain't gonna be going to any parties, but I do have to get a party dress for the sake of this video. And this dress is so unique. Like none of the other ones I saw at the thrift store. So I'm gonna pick it up. I'm really excited to try it on. And I like the color, obviously. Obviously, who wouldn't? Okay, now there's three skirts. One I totally cheated at, and that's the maxi skirt because I got a skater skirt. There was no maxi skirts. And like I had found everything except the skirts, so I didn't want to go to a different one. And I was just like, you know what? I think I'll get more wear out of this skirt. So forgive me on this one. This is the most clear cheat I have. And that is this skirt, maxi skirt, not really. But it is a neutral and it's more of a skater skirt, which I think I'll get more wear out of a maxi skirt, but I know I was supposed to follow it. So sorry. This one was, it was a cheat. Black or neutral pencil skirt. I got this one. This I think will be very cute. I'm just hopeful that it fits because this waist looks a little bit itty bitty, but you know what? I'll squeeze in it. I'll do it for the video. Okay. And then we have a pattern or colored skirt. So I thought that this was kind of like a colored skirt. I really, really like this denim skirt. It's got like a denim belt. Like this is adorable. I was so excited to find it. it is in a size three so we'll see if it fits me but you know what I can just like tighten that thing up I'll make it work though like seriously having to buy that many skirts I was like I don't really like I don't go that far from sweatpants but you know I'm gonna be looking my best this few weeks okay now into jackets which is very important that I took a second to make sure I got jackets that were good because like I said it is cold and I'll need to wear jackets so this classic jean jacket which isn't so classic because look at that pattern so fun. Like the girl who was checking out was like, oh my gosh, where'd you find this jacket? I was like, it was in the jackets. And she's like, I wish I would have seen it first. And I was like, <gasps> just check it out. But for real, this was like very unique. I know it's not your classic, but you know, it's still a classic jean. Come on. Lightweight neutral trench. I actually found this in like the sweaters. It's a very, very sheer long trench coat. I don't think it will provide much heat, but I think it will provide a good vibe to the outfit. So I'm excited about that one. And I was happy to find this too. And it's got the belt. It's just over here. Cropped moto jacket. Now I had to do some searching on what a moto jacket was and if this would work. And I, when I was looking around, it seemed like lots of moto jackets are more like the fake leather look, but this one did work from the Googles that I was doing while I was shopping. So it is this neutral kind of like, what is the color? Is this like a camel color or like a beige? And it actually has shoulder pads, which is so bizarre. I wouldn't expect that, but I think that will be very, very cute. And I actually have nothing like that jacket, which is interesting. And then a neutral blazer. I had to do a green. I love wearing army 
army green blazers or just jackets in general. So I think this will be a staple for the next couple weeks for me. And like, these are crazy. They're like $8. So it's really pays to shop secondhand. Now, lastly, we have the shoes, a nude heel. So lots of people get hung up over the nude shade because everybody thinks nude is like one color, but really like nude is a whole range. So when I show you these, they may not be like my nude color, but it is somebody's nude color. So in my opinion, this totally works. They're actually more like boots, but again, I'm doing it in the fall, so I ad-libbed a little bit. I will definitely get more wear of these than like a little heel. So this is good. And then we have a black pump. I love these. You know, when you look, they're pretty eye-catching. I'm pretty excited to have found them. I usually like to wear a size six and a half, but these are a six, but you know what? I'm gonna make them work. And I'm just seeing that they're from the Kendall and Kylie collection. Wow, I didn't see that. Nice. Leopard or colored flat. My mom laughed out loud when I chose these, but honestly, I couldn't find anything different. And you know, I've got an idea in my head how these might look cute. I'm not giving up on them. Colored tennis shoe. I did cheat. I will admit it, I did cheat, but you know what? White is a color, okay? Lots of people say, like, it's a shade, but you know what? I think it's a color, so this is my colored tennis shoe. I just knew I would need a basic runner, you guys. I wear these every single day, like my Air Force Ones. I know, I wear Air Force Ones. They're comfortable, okay? I do wear them, and these are very similar to those, so I just thought, you know what? I'm gonna cheat a little. Sorry again. I don't want this to be an entire video of me just apologizing. Okay, and then a neutral wedge. Now, these shoes, I fell in love with these right Right off the go they actually do have a little wedge in them which is so weird because it doesn't look like they would but these are kind of like hiking shoes but they're I love big bulky shoes to wear with outfits so I think that if you don't like these right now you might be surprised by the end of the video you might like them but you might not we'll see so yeah that is all of the clothes that I got for this wardrobe capsule and I got everything secondhand at the thrift store so I'm gonna wear these for two weeks we'll see what kind of outfits I can put together and let's get into that vlog footage of me wearing them. We'll see how it goes. I feel like it's gonna go okay. Maybe even great. I'd go that far. You guys, I have my first outfit on and I just switched my insoles from my Air Force Ones to my look-alike. So I'm excited to see how these feel. Usually getting shoes secondhand, I don't ever worry about how worn out they are because I'm just gonna put my insoles in them anyways. If you guys don't know about my insoles, clearly you're new to the channel because my insoles are the reason that I can walk. Well, not legitimately, but like the reason that my knees aren't getting ruined. Oh yeah, these shoes feel great. Like honestly, they feel good. So here is the outfit I'm wearing today. Just a simple turtleneck, the jeans from Old Navy, and my white shoes. Very typical, but this one is part of the capsule and it's all thrifted. First day. First day. <laughs> today I feel severely overdressed. I'm literally just gonna be editing today and I have like only makeup on this part of my face because my mask covers all of this. So I was like, why bother? And today I'm just editing and I was like, why am I just so dressed up? But I was like, there might be a lot of days like this where I'm just sitting around and editing. Thing. So I need to find my excuse dress up and the video is the excuse. So I'm editing in a skirt today Okay, guys, I'm trying to find an outfit for today I've been wearing this shirt so much like it's becoming like kind of like the crossover pajama Everyday shirt like you guys have noticed I've been wearing these sweatpants every day So this is becoming that it's so comfortable But I want to kind of dress up today because it's like really nice out I feel like this is a good opportunity to wear my skirt and actually leave the house. So I'm gonna take a look I want I want to kind of do something hip, you know? I want to be hip. Come on. Does this look kind of like a school uniform? Because that's not what I was going for. But like, I was going to put a sweater over top of this and then I remembered it's literally 22 degrees out. So I don't want to wear something over top of this. So I think this is what I'm going to wear. Just going to wear my white runners again. I feel like I'm going to be wearing those like almost every outfit. But yeah, this fits great. <laughs> it really looks like I'm just like wearing a school uniform. So whatever. It's cute. It's something I wouldn't usually wear, so. I feel kind of silly, you guys. What do you think of my outfit? I wish you were here to tell me. All right, you guys, we are in some nice weather, which is kind of contradicting with, with some of the outfits I chose because it's so much nicer here. We are COVID free and visiting some family and they got some nice weather. So I tried to pick the most like weather appropriate outfit, but because I picked a bunch of long sleeves, I run cold, so I'm fine. All right, you guys, here's what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a turtleneck and also these Urban Outfitters pants. You guys, these fit amazingly. I can't believe it. They were literally made for me. <laughs> so cringe. <laughs> We're not the only ones loving the weather. Chippy's loving it. <laughs> Don't eat grass, Chip. <laughs> Can 
you guys, is it noticeable that I just cut this shirt? <laughs> it's like so uneven. <gasps> Oh well. So here is my outfit for today. It's another beautiful day. So bizarre. I'm not used to this beautiful weather, but I decided I would take advantage of this day and wear a skirt. Here it is. I also cut this shirt. I mentioned it a little bit earlier. It just was looking really weird and it was kind of fraying at the bottom because it is used. So I was like, okay, well, I'll just cut it. And I think it looks a lot better. I like my outfit today. <laughs> It's a little bit more cloudy out today, so I decided today would be a good day to wear this sweater. So soft. I'm wearing the jeans that fit really well. And finally, some different shoes other than my white runners. They're very comfortable. It might seem like we're in the middle of nowhere. We're about to do a hike, so wish me luck in my outfit. She wearing flared jeans. You heard it. You heard it loud and clear. Today, I'm wearing flared jeans. I kind of love flared jeans, to be honest. It's cold out, so I thought this was the best option. And yeah, I'll wear my white white runners, but right now I am in socks. I had to search far and wide for these because Chip took them, but here they are. Here's my outfit for today, you guys. There's no one around, so I took the mask off, but I'm wearing a skirt, never before seen on me. A skirt, you guys. I have an audience of my dad watching. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm back home. I'm wearing an outfit. I realized I showed like none of my shoes in any outfit, so I'm gonna make a point to show my shoes. Check them out. Got them on. This is the outfit today. It's interesting. You guys, this is definitely not something I would normally wear, but I was like, you know what? I haven't worn the skirt yet, so I should plan an outfit around it. Here's what I came up with. Yeah, <laughs> this is probably gonna be the last day that I could wear a skirt without wearing tights. We'll see, fingers are crossed, but here it is. It's actually really cute. It's just not- It's not what I would normally wear, but I like it. You guys, it's Thanksgiving here in Canada. So I thought today was the day to dress up, bring out the dress, bring out the heels. I've also got a little bit of room with this belt, so I thought that would be best for the food I'm going to indulge in. Ignore this mess, but I really, really like this outfit. It's super comfortable. I love the shoes. They fit perfectly, and I feel like this is a look that I would kind of normally wear if I was dressing up. Actually, that's kind of a lie. It's pretty dressy, but like, it pushed me out of my comfort zone, so I like it. All right, you guys, we are in the final outfit from the two weeks. We've got the sassy, cool denim jacket, the turtleneck that I absolutely love. So comfortable. But I am here to do my final thoughts. I can't believe this video is finally being posted. Like seriously, this has been a thought in my head for months, maybe even a year. So I'm so excited to have it finally out there and I'm so happy that it went well. I can totally understand why my mom loves her capsule wardrobe because seriously, it takes the thought out of making an outfit because it's like, I have the jackets, I have the tops, I have the pants. I think the only thing is if you are doing it in the winter or you are doing it in the summer, those extra seasonal pieces I feel like are very important, especially when it comes to shoes. That's one thing I noticed. I could have used a little bit more winter shoes. But I really like all the outfits I was able to put together. I didn't even use all of the pieces, like there were still more things I could have dove into. I feel like it pushed me out of my comfort zone to wear some nice things and you know, none of the pieces were sweatpants, so that really pushed me out of my comfort zone. I couldn't just fall back on wearing sweatpants. So yeah, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And you know what? $300 for an entire wardrobe. I feel like, yes, it's a big expense at first, but I feel like it is worth it. And you're using reusable clothes. All clothes are reusable. Wear your clothes more than once. You know what I mean? What's the word? I will, of course, link the capsule guide I used down below in case you're wanting to try it. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was fun. But if not, I hope it was just interesting. Entertaining. Hope you enjoyed it. Love you. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!